Hello everyone. When people shake hands, they don't just shake hands. They also convey attitudes and intentions. Hand gestures comprise so many of the non-verbal signals we use today. A very well-known and frequently practiced among these is the handshake. Have you ever thought that people can understand you by the way you shake the hands? In this video, we'll be discussing some of the ways by which we commonly shake hands with others. Let's get it on. Handshaking is perhaps the most widely recognized of great things worldwide in both Western and non-Western societies. While on the surface, a handshake appears to be a warm, friendly gesture, this can be a superficial reading. It's important to recognize the different meanings of handshakes in different situations and to be able to use them to your advantage. A handshake is the unspoken word that initiates a conversation in almost any social or professional get-together. This form of introduction can make or break the tone of your environment. People are making judgments and basing their initial opinions of you of this small but formidable gesture. The goal here is to make this quick and easy gesture your best friend and secret weapon. However, first you must discover what the handshake that you currently have reveals about you, your personality and the first impression that you give off. Well, have you heard the tale of Goldilocks? It's like the tale of Goldilocks. A great handshake is not too firm, not too limp, but just right. Let's find out if your handshake is a deal maker or a deal breaker. Number 1. The Limp Noodle If your handshake can be mistaken as a light grace, you might be exposing a weak inner being. In fact, many employers and business associates will see this as a sign that you lack confidence and ability in what you do. If you are trying to be gentle with a female colleague, think again. Female professionals will appreciate and respect you for treating them just as you would a male counterpart. Number 2. The Bone Crusher On the opposite end of the spectrum, don't go in for the handshake with too much power up your sleeve. People will instantly wonder what you're trying to overcompensate for and likely dismiss you immediately. Number 3. The Fancy Fool While it's become a trend to make the handshake hip by creating creative and trying new things, like the fist bump, this shows signs of immaturity and a complete lack of awareness. Save this one for your frat brothers and family only. Number 4. The Lingerer You have reached out with a good, firm grip, but forgot to let go. By lingering and holding on too long, you are telling the other party that you are desperate. Live by the two-second rule and let go before it's too late. Number 5. The Rusher how does it make you feel when you speak to someone and they completely brush you off? That is very comparable to an abruptly short handshake. It is not only rude, but will evoke the sense that you don't care and do not have the time for this person. Number 6. The look away. A good handshake doesn't stop with the hand. Make sure you are making eye contact and smiling. If you're someone who lacks in this area, you may be revealing a sense of insecurity, shyness and suspiciousness to future friends or employees. Number 7. The Perfect Handshake Finally, the right way to shake someone's hand. Remember to keep good posture, make eye contact, hold your right hand out, give a good firm shake, follow the second rule. Smile, greet the other person and repeat their name. With this, you are giving friends and colleagues 
the idea that you are trustworthy, warm, spirited, confident, driven and prepared. This should be your go-to handshake in order to consistently create a positive first impression. So congrats my friend, you may have 99 problems but your handshake is in one. Hope you have understood. Do comment your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you are watching the channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the notifications.